Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video, we are going to study percents again. We are finding percentages using decimals this time. I have another video where we are using mental math to find these, but this time we are going to use decimal multiplication and even a calculator. Okay, the main idea here is that the word of, when we are finding so many percent of something, the of translates into multiplication. So, for example, 1% of 90. To find 1% of 90, the of goes to multiplication symbol. And then 1% is changed into a decimal. It's, of course, one hundredth here. And now this last one here is easy to put into a calculator. Or you could multiply also, you know, using normal multiplication on pencil and paper. And um, here's another example. 60% of some big number you change of to multiplication. The number doesn't change. And 60% is written as a decimal. And it would be 6 tenths, 0 0.6. And then this into a calculator. Let's solve this without a calculator. And find 70% of 80. I will write 70% as a decimal. It would be 0 0.70. Right? Or 0 0.7, I don't need that other 0 here, of is times an 80. Now we need to remember how to multiply when there's a decimal number. How to multiply with decimals. Mentally. The idea is that you basically multiply as if there were no decimal points. Forget the decimal point. You have 7 times 80. Which that in itself is 7 times 8 and then tag a 0 to the answer. 7 times 8 is 56, and tag that zero, 0 there. And now we will look at this decimal situation. Since here is one decimal, here are none, the answer has to have one decimal. And so we need to put our decimal point right here. The answer is therefore 56. You can of course use the other method that I show in the other video, where you find first 10% of 80, and then multiply that by 7. And 10% of 80, would be a tenth part of this is, is 8, and then 8 times 7 is 56. Either way, it works. You have to multiply, you have to know your 7 times 8 multiplication table thing. Another one, find 8% of $5,000. Let's write the 8% as a decimal. Of is the times, and then our number doesn't change. Here again, if you're doing this mentally, it's a decimal multiplication, but you multiply as if there were no decimals at first. 8 times 5,000, which is... 8 times 5 is 40, and then you have to tag these three zeros, 40,000. And then we look at how many decimal digits there are in these factors, and there's two decimal digits here and none here. So therefore we need to put two decimal digits here. 400 is the answer. Here is find 17% of this, 239.90. Now I would use a calculator, but 17 is written as a decimal, 0 0.17, then times, and then this number. And I calculated it beforehand with the calculator. The answer is uh, $40.783 which this would need to be rounded if it was a price or something. It would need to be rounded to 78 cents here. Lastly, find 6.5% of $12.90. This might be if needful to do if you have sales tax calculations. If the sales tax is 6.5% and the price of the item is this. First we change this to a decimal. But now there's a decimal point in the, de in the percent, okay? The way I do these things is that I first think of an easier situation that if, what if it was just 6%? If it was only 6% here, my decimal would be 0 0.06, right? 6 hundredths. But there's this 5 here, so I just tag the 5 here too. And now I got my decimal. Then times, and then fall 90. Again, I've calculated this beforehand. So the answer is, with a calculator, 0 0.8385 dollars 
or a little over 83 cents. If this is in a store, uh, it has to do with prices, we have to round it to the nearest cent, 84 cents.